space between the text on the top border and bottom border is very less. To increase this space, we need to stretch the space with the array stretch command. The array stretch command value can be changed with the renew command. Write the renew command. Pass the first argument, the name of the command to change. Write the array stretch. And in the second argument, pass the affected value, for example, 1.5. Now the space is increased. To further increase, write the value to the space is increased two times. Let's consider this table. In this table, we want to merge the sum columns row wise and column wise. These three columns should be merged row wise and the last column should be merged column wise. To merge the rows, the multi row command is used. For example, to merge this first column, write the multi row command and in the first argument write the number of rows to be merged. In this case, we want two rows to be merged. Two the width should be 100%. Write the star in it. Star means full space. In the third argument, write the text to be displayed in the cell. Models. Now the text is spanned in the two columns, but the horizontal line is crossing the text. Let's remove this horizontal line. Now the text is spanning in two rows. Similarly, for the second and third column, Write the same multi row command. Second column is spanned two rows. Similarly, for the third column, the third column is also spanned two rows. To merge these columns, the multi column command is used. Write the multi column command. In the first column, write the number of columns to be merged. Here, there is two columns to be merged. Write the number two. And in the second argument, write the alignment of the text. To center the text, write the C. And in the third argument, write the text to be displayed. Now the text is coming in the two columns. Note that the border is removed. To write the border in this column, after the position of the text, write the vertical bar. Now the border is coming here. The border is missing here. To add the border consisting of some columns, the C line command is used. In the C line command, write the sequence of columns to be bordered. Write the C line command. The first value should be the starting column of the border. For example, this is this is column one, column two, column three, and column four to five. We want column four to five border. The border is coming between the two columns. In this way, the rows are merged and the columns are merged. Let's consider this table. To add the border to one specific cell, the multi-column and C-line commands are used. For example, to border the first cell, write the text in the multi column consisting of only one column, and at the end, write the C line command to draw the horizontal bottom border. Write the name in the multi column command. This column is consist of one column, and position is to be left aligned, and the text is the name. To add the left and right border, Write the vertical line before and after the position of the text. The left and right border is added. To add the bottom horizontal line, write the C line command one to one. Now, the first cell is bordered left border, right border, and the bottom border. Similarly, to add the border around this dash, write the same commands here.
left and right left and right lines are there change the alignment to the center and write the c line command 2 2 2 the bottom horizontal line is coming there but the top horizontal line is missing so in the in the above row write the c line command the top horizontal line is coming here similarly you can add any specific cell the left or right or bottom or top lines hope you like this tutorial see you in the next one